Hey, I'm Andrew. I had um, microfracture surgery under my patella seven months ago um, to, I guess, recover or restore cartilage underneath the kneecap and um, just been rehabbing it ever since. So that's really it. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to bring Andrew in and we're going to test the range of motion in his good leg. So what we do is we bring his foot all the way to his butt and you can see Andrew just about all the way there. We're going to take our inclinometer here. We're going to measure, and we can see that the angle of the shin right now is about 82 and a half, 83 degrees. So that's fine. That's what we're really looking to get this one to measure up to. We'd like to see it get closer to 90, but 82 to 83 is acceptable. So we're going to take this leg, bring it up, same thing, and you guys can see without me really even pointing it out, I can jam it as hard as I want. That's as far as Andrew's knee is going to go, right? You feel tension with that? Yeah, it's tight. It's tight. And now we're looking at... 73 degrees. Can you see that with the camera? Can you come in and zoom in on that? So we're looking at 72 and a half degrees. What okay. we're going to do with Andrew is we're going to be working on a, a tendon complex called his pes serina. We're going to come in here, a little bit of lubrication, and we're just going to create momentary inflammation into the area that we want so that the muscles can heal themselves a little bit better. And you can even probably hear it through the, through the camera, that grindiness. That is not comfortable for our friend here, unfortunately. But he'll be very happy with his results. All right? No, that part's good because that's not. Good. Okay. What is that sound? That's your, that's your muscle tissue. Yes. Tendon tissue. It shouldn't really sound like that. Ideally, it would sound a little bit different. So we're not scraping that hard. Right? We don't want to kill him. We don't want Andrew to be jumping off the table or not wanting to come back in ever again. But we just want to create a little bit of abrasion to the area. Okay. Right, we're going to retest and see if we've increased the range of motion. So we're going to take that knee again and drive it back up nice and tall, as far as we can get it to go. So if we can go any further, is that all we can get? Yeah, that's what you can get. Okay. So you can see right away, we've already increased by about two degrees of motion, two and a half, which is a good start, but we're not done. Rectus femoris muscle, which is the quad muscle that also crosses the knee, it flexes the hip and extends the knee at the same time. And uh, when you have some issues squatting, when you've had issues squatting, we can run into some areas of scar tissue in this muscle, very common amongst crossfitters. And this is going to give Andrew a lot of bang for his buck. Oops, there we go. Bend that knee for me. Good, there we go. This doesn't hurt as bad as a scraping, right? No, that's much better. Good. All right, so we just finished Andrew's treatment for the day. You saw we just treated two structures, really, and watched the amount of range of motion that we increased that we're going to get. Take Andrew's knee, same thing. We're just going to try to slide it back as far as you can comfortably go. You all right there? Yeah. OK. Bring it in for the real thing. Let me take a look at our range of motion increase. And we're looking at about 83 degrees, which, guys, for those of you who don't remember, is the same range of motion he had in his good leg. So we expect that to regress a little bit after this visit's over. I expect him to go back down to the mid-70s, maybe the high 70s. Um, we want to increase range of motion every time he comes in. And the next time he comes in, we'll report you with uh, how he showed. Okay, and you'll see the increase every time he comes. Thanks for watching.